I am here at my best friend Todd's house and we're gonna make a strawberry field cocktail today. She's always great at making me margaritas and her margaritas are award-winning, I think. <laughs> and so today, <laughs> today I get to make her my version of award-winning cocktail, which is the strawberry field combination of rhubarb and strawberries. And the reason I selected these two things is because it reminded me of my childhood, going to the farmer's market and picking these things in the summer, and plus it's refreshing as well. And I can't miss my ginger, so it's got a little infusion of ginger lemons to kind of get the salivatory glands going. Let's get started. Are you ready? Yes. That's the lemon into here because we're going to use a little bit of that lemon zest as a garnish. And this is actually where a lot of the um, essence comes from. What you do is you just take the yellow part off of it. So as soon as you get a little bit of the yellow part off of it, you'll scoot on to the next part because the white part is actually the bitter portion of the leaves. And you'll just juice that into the glass here. Remember, flush that down. And while she's juicing that, um, what's actually going to create the foam is this egg white powder. You could use actual egg whites itself, or you can use soy lecithin, but this is actually a lot easier um, to find in the grocery store. And then we have a quarter cup of water. And we're just going to take this hand blender here and foam it up. While she's doing that, we're going to move to the cocktail piece of it. This is the fun part. This is my Boston shaker. I'm going to put in two whole strawberries in here. And I'm going to muddle it. And I'm going to add into that the Cantone. This is probably a liquid you don't carry and you have to go get the store. It's a French ginger liqueur. I'm going to add in one ounce of that. And then what I've also made is a rhubarb ginger simple syrup. So it's one part water, one part sugar. And I put some rhubarb stock in there. Just cut it up and put it in there with about an inch of ginger for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. Turn it off. And then I drained it into this container here so it'd be easy to access. And then last but not least, I'm going to put in, well, almost last, um, three ounces of vodka, because who doesn't like vodka? If you want to do gin, you can do that as well. So three ounces. And then I'm going to put in a little bit more lemon, just to kind of tie it all together. Here's the half a juice of the lemon. We're going to fill it up with us. Boston shaker, we're going to put it straight down in one big smack, and then shake. 30 seconds. But we're going to just strain it right on top of here. And you're going to put that foam, just kind of layer it on top. This is one of those drinks you cannot use a straw for because when you use a straw, it's going to pull the sweet from the bottom up and not get the foam. Oh. So we have to use our lips. Our lips. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Cheers. Really good, very refreshing. A nice bite. And it's not too sweet either, so it's easy to make. I think it would impress any guests to come to your house as well. I think so. Our right. new drink of choice. Here's to a refreshing summer and we'll